What's going on guys? This is Angelo from Caps on Fire and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fill your sublimation cartridges. Okay, so these cartridges they are for the Workforce 7710, the 7720, the 7610, the 7210, the 7110, the 3620, and I believe the 3640. But just click on the description below, guys, and I will have my kits linked down there. And when you click on that link, it'll take you straight to my Etsy shop where you can be able to buy a conversion kit. Okay, so the first thing we want to know is that when you go and buy your Epson printer from the store, it do not come with sublimation ink. Okay, it comes with regular printer ink, but if you want to switch it over to sublimation, a ink conversion kit is required to be able to do that. All right, so as you guys can see, I do have my own line of ink right here. It's Cosmos Ink, and we're going to go ahead and fill up one of these cartridges. Okay, so for now, we're going to go ahead and fill the yellow cartridge. All right. So to do so, first thing we want to do is we want to take out this first plug up here in the front. Okay. The rear plug, that's for ventilation purposes. And you don't pull this one out until you put it in your printer. So for now, let's just take out this plug in the front. Next, we want to go ahead and grab one of our syringes and grab a needle for it. Be careful with this needle, guys. These needles are extremely sharp, extremely sharp. So just be careful not to poke yourself. Next, we want to go ahead and get our sublimation ink together. And with these, because they're so sharp, we already have a hole right here from where I've been pulling some ink out earlier. But if, of course, when you get yours, yours will not have any holes. So you can just poke a hole in it. Then slowly pull out your sublimation ink. All right. These are 10 milliliter syringes. But if you fill it up just a little bit past the 10 mark, just a little bit past the 10 mark, You'll be able to put all of this inside an empty sub inside a, um inside an empty sublimation cartridge. All right. So when you put it inside this cartridge, you're gonna have to angle it. So when you put it in, you wanna have it at an angle like this. Okay, because when you put it down in here, you want it to go all the way down in the corner near that chip that's on the side. So just angle it down all the way in and then just slowly fill it up while you're doing this you're gonna have sometimes you're gonna have air bubbles so that's another reason why I highly suggest you angle it to reduce the air bubbles because the more air bubbles you have you'll have the air bubbles and ink start to come out up here at the top and it'll start to get all up here and you don't really want a mess that you know that can be uh, preventable so now that we have this full all we do is just take our plug we put our plug back in and then we take this rear plug out then that's it it's ready for our printer so we go to our printer we go to settings we go to maintenance then we go to ink cartridge replacements we open up the top of our printer we wait for it to stop moving and then once the printer has stopped moving and it's in the rest position then we can be able to take that cartridge out and well take your uh, other cartridges out if you have any in there but typically you won't have any in there as this will be the one you're gonna put in so just go ahead and put this cartridge in so that is pretty much it um I'll go ahead and answer one of the main questions that I get right now which is how many prints can you get out of these cartridges well that solely depends on a few things, okay? The very first thing it depends on is how many colors are in your design, okay? The next thing after that, it depends on how big of an image you're printing. And then lastly, how many times are you printing the same image, all right? Typically, I've gotten at least 100 prints yeah, I say about right at 100 prints before I even needed to check my cartridges just to check the levels. Okay, 
So with these cartridges, you will get a whole lot of prints. And once again, these bottles, these are 100 milliliter bottles. So as you guys know, we already filled this up to the 10 mark. And if these are 100 milliliter bottles, you can be able to fill this cartridge up at least 10 times with your yellow, your cyan, your, uh, your cyan and your magenta. Okay. For the black, since the black is extra large, of course, that's going to take more ink from inside your bottles. However, because this black is extra large, most, a lot of designs that have black in them, they tend up to use a lot more black than any of the other colors. So therefore, that's why this is extra large and you'll get more prints out of this than if this black was a standard size like the rest of these. Okay. But that is it, guys. That is all to the video. I want to thank you all for tuning in. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to message me. Okay. Just send me a message or just drop a comment down below and I'll be able to get to you. Or you can just click on the description and you can join our Facebook group and we can answer all your questions through there. Okay. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Angelo out. Oh, oh, oh.